Well, good day and welcome back to the Flying Doctor channel. Today, we're flying with Delta again. We're gonna take a business class flight on one of their A319 aircraft, headed down to Mexico. We might try a little bit of tequila, get a burrito on board, and we'll definitely catch some good views out the window as we head south. So, sit back, relax, get ready for another flight review. We are going to get straight into the review today and skip the obligatory lounge visit. While I did visit the escape lounge, I won't be reviewing that today. My name's Captain Corn Grove, like making choose Delta Day. Three hours, 53 minutes in route is your flight time. Ride conditions, fairly decent ride. I just have a couple little pockets of uh, occasional light shop here and there. That all being said, those seatbelts sign the on position because made seatbelts really securely fast in the on position. Feel free to move around the cabin. It is an honor and a privilege to serve you today. Thank you, choose Delta. We'll get going here momentarily. Expect a slightly early departure and an early arrival into Mexico City. Thank you. Today's flight is operated on a 22-year-old Airbus 319 and will cover almost 3,000 kilometers over a duration of just under 5 hours. Alright, well, we are on board. I've already been asked for a drink, but I have water at my seat and there's really nothing, nothing else I can satisfy my quench besides water at the moment, so... Once we get airborne, we'll take a better look at the seat, and uh, I look forward to seeing what's on board for the meal, and can't wait to see the views as we travel south towards Mexico City. As the flight crew prepared this baby bus for pushback and departure, I noticed one of the ground crew having a blast outside in the frigid Minneapolis air. Congratulations to that guy, and a job well done on making the best of your day and making some passengers laugh. Delta 611, you're coming up down. You saw the push on Charlie 4 as well. You're pushing the through, the 117. Alright, push for 117. We'll uh, keep an eye out for Charlie 4, Delta 611. And ground Delta 611 is ready to act. Delta 611, may have tower flight heading 180, runway 17, clear for takeoff. Heading 611 turn right heading 230 on next departure. 230 on the heading or departure Delta 611. Good day. As an av geek, one of my favorite things about flying is being able to view this vast planet from thousands of feet above. Before we get to the food on today's flight, we passed over several notable airports. Breakfast has arrived, and it's not what I was expecting when it comes to burrito, but it does look good, it smells good. I'll put a picture of what I had for breakfast on the flight over to Minneapolis, that was the French toast. That also didn't look like what I anticipated, but it was also good. Same yogurt with the French toast that I had earlier, uh, I do expect that to be tasty as well, and the croissant should be nice, flaky soft on the inside. For drink, I ordered a orange juice with tequila. I think there's tequila in there. I was going for a tequila sunrise, but there's no sunrise part. It's just orange. Yellow. Let's see how it tastes. 
well as Noel Phillips would say, quite nice. Can't really get that British accent, but it's not bad. Alright, so uh, quick update on the food. The flavor is very nice. I guess I wasn't sure what to expect when it came to a pre-made burrito. Growing up in Southern California, there was a lot of burritos in my diet, and they were always eaten by hand. For this one in particular, there just seems to be a lot of excess tortilla, not a lot of filling. Taste is good overall though, so maybe a little bit more filling, a little less tortilla, that could go a long way. And yes, burritos are traditionally eaten by hand. However, I understand and appreciate why Delta didn't go the traditional burrito route here. Dirty hands are one of my biggest pet peeves. What about the seat and the other amenities on board? Well, let's first check out the seat. Delta only has one layout for their A319s, which are configured to accommodate 132 passengers. At the front are 12 domestic first seats, offering 37 inches of pitch and 21 inches of width. These seats also provide passengers with a USB-A port and universal AC power socket. The remaining 120 economy seats are identical, with the exception of rows 10, 11, and 12, which are marked as Delta Comfort Plus and offer an additional 3 inches of legroom compared with the remainder of economy. Next to Delta 611 with you at a 23 decimal 3, descending via Duran 2 Alpha to 17,250 knots assigned. Whether you are seated at the front or very last row, above your head are air vents, FA call buttons, and reading lights. Uh, seven miles, so I want to get to eight miles of visibility. Uh, scatter sky cover at temperature 78 degrees. Yes. Seatbelt sign is on, or remain on the main door flight. Last year, main seat seatbelts really passed until we turn off seatbelt sign at the gate. On behalf of your flight crew today, like to thank you, choose Delta. It's been a pleasure to serve you and do upstate on a future flight. Rival gates will be uh, 53. Enjoy your afternoon. This time I cast flight attempts with spread cap for Island. Delta 611, contact approach from 1 to 1.2. 1 to 1 decimal 2, Delta 611, good day. Hasta luego. Approach Delta 611 is with you 14,000, descend via the Duran 2 to 111,230 knots of sign. Okay, direct suit test to descend and maintain 111,000, clear to ILS 5 right, Delta 611. Besides the meal and extra room to spread out, there isn't much more to indulge in if you're traveling in first on one of Delta's domestic flights. I say domestic because many, if not all, of Delta's flights between North America and Mexico or the Caribbean are operated similarly to strictly domestic routes. For example, if you're in economy or comfort plus on a similar flight, you can expect the standard Biscoff cookie and refreshments, but that's where the catering will stop. This is a bit odd to me given that the flight was nearly 5 hours long and on a recent flight from Peru to Atlanta on Delta that was 2 hours longer. I had received two meal services. Just something to be aware of if you end up booking one of these international routes and don't find your expectations being met on board. Let me know in the comments what amenities on board a flight like today's you would find most important. Tower Delta 611 with you on the ILS Zulu 5 right. Delta 611, runway 05 right, CMH, Press of Regiment 38, continue approach. Alright, uh, continue approach Delta 611. Overall, I enjoyed my experience aboard this Delta flight in business class. I originally booked an economy ticket as a one-stop flight to San Diego, but ended up changing to a business class ticket for the same price. At $358, this trip cost $0.11 cents per mile, which is an incredible deal for a business class ticket. I'm pretty sure I was the only one on board all the way from Baltimore, and probably one of only a handful of people worldwide willing to take the long way across the country. Delta 611, runway 05 right, wind 2 to 3 0 degrees 1, Sierra not clear to land. 5 right, clear to land, Delta 611. Here's a very important note for anyone traveling to or through Mexico with a drone. After passing through customs, you'll pick up your bag and then go through an additional baggage screening. I was unfortunate to be stopped as the personnel spotted a drone in my carry-on. 
She insisted that because I do not have a connecting flight to the US or other country, I was responsible for paying a tax on the drone. According to her, it is Mexican law that drones costing more than $500 are considered commercial equipment and are therefore subject to taxes. Is this equipment for instruments for, for work? work? Yes, because this is not a toy, no, it's a, a camera, so for us it's an equipment for instruments. I was not aware of this and didn't see the logic in taxing someone for personal belongings when they clearly had no intentions of staying in Mexico. I did show her my subsequent tickets for onward flights to Mazatlan and then the Tijuana cross-border express, but 15 minutes of politely arguing with her got me nowhere. At the end of our little debate, which was made even more difficult because of the language barrier, she and a co-worker tried telling me they wouldn't provide me with a receipt for my records. Okay, but I want a copy of this. No. Why not? Because it's only... But you can't... At that point, I succumbed to the situation and assumed they were just ripping me off. I'll deal with this later, I thought to myself. Delta 611, back to the right and contact 121.0. Right turn, 121.0, Delta 611. After paying the $75 tax, I was released and escorted to another sea of people trying to get through security. The line reminded me of what early days post 9-11 were like in the US, with confusion and frustration plastered on passengers' faces. Welcome to Mexico City, the local time is 1.05, please stay seated with your seatbelts fastened. Those feelings were short-lived though, and I was on to my next flight. Until then, thanks for watching, see ya! Planet Hunters for